That's the new future of sonar right there. As a professional angler and guide, I depend on my Garmin electronics to make a living. There's so many different features in these new units, from the Lakeview HD mapping, the quick draw contours where you can create your own map, the 2D chirp sonar, but the biggest feature and the biggest advantage of why I run Garmin is Panoptics. I've been running Panoptics for four years. I started out with just Live View Forward, and now they have Live View Forward and Live View Down. It keeps getting more and more refined with every new transducer that they're making. They just came out with the Garmin Panoptics Live Scope transducer, and it's incredible. I'm gonna show you an example of catching jumbo perch with the Live View Forward and the Live View Down, how to see fish out and get right over the top of them and video game fish. It's awesome. This top unit is a PS21, which has live view forward. Now this is older technology already compared to this. This is the new live scope. This is dedicated at, to down right now, and this is at forward. So this is my search tool when I'm looking for perch. I'm gonna use this, and with perch, they're not spooky. So once I see them, I can actually troll right to the fish, get over the top of them, and then video game them with the down. So I'm gonna show you on the forward as I scan around. Now I have, I have my depth set manually to 23 foot. And the reason I wanna do that and, and not on auto is so that I have more screen and I can see those fish on the bottom a little bit better. Because if you have it on auto, your bottom's gonna be lifted more, it's gonna constantly adjust. So I'd like to manually set my depth And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan around. And how this works, this transducer is on that trolling motor. So whichever way I'm pointing that trolling motor is where I'm looking. Right now I got it set at 50 feet. So whatever direction I point that trolling motor, you see as I swing it around here. Now there's perch right there. You got a weed bed, you got perch right there. Now I'm coming over with the live view down. What I can do is I can drop this drop shot. Those are all perch right there. I can drop my drop shot, and a lot of it is, there's my drop shot going down. Now you can see I'm starting to come over to it. The reason you didn't see my drop shot going down is it has to do with boat positioning, but there's fish coming at it right now. He's at it, taking a bite at it, and they're, they're finicky, I got them. And it's as simple as that. I mean, you can literally, you can watch, you can see those fish all schooled up. Look at those fish swimming around. Now that's what they look like on 2D sonar. That's what they look like on the live view down. Live view down is real time. This is a wide cone. I'm gonna show you a better example of 2D sonar versus live view down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I made a combo. This is 2D sonar, no matter what brand you have, 2D sonar looks like that. Sends a signal down, gets a return, writes it on the screen. Those are fish swimming around. That's what it looks like on 2D. You actually can see those fish. And if I make it on a 20 foot setting, you can see even better. You can watch them swim around versus that. That's what you look like on your old fish finder. That's the new future of sonar right there. That live view down is incredible. So we're gonna try to catch another one. I'm gonna let this fish go. Okay, there's some fish scattered on the bottom. I'm kind of moving towards them. They were about 30 foot away to start. There they are. Straight under the boat now. So what I'm gonna do is drop my bait down to them. And then there's my bait. There's my drop shot weight, which they're hitting the drop shot weight right now. I'm gonna put my bait down there so they can see the bait. You can see all those fish that are down there. And they're very picky, so you'll see there's some that are outside the cone. There he is. And that's a fat one right there. And there's a whole bunch of them down there. And it's amazing that you can see them 60 foot away, troll over to them, and then watch every single one of them down there and catch them with that drop shot.
<laughs> that was so cool. So cool to be able to see those fish in real time compete over that bait. Stuff you'd never see on regular 2D sonar. This pan optics is the future of fishing. It really is amazing to be able to see fish 50, 60, 80 foot away, 100 foot away, troll right over to them, get over them with that live view down and see everything in real time. See how finicky they are. They're so finicky today. Some wouldn't bite it, they'd look at it, and another one, an aggressive one would come in. You can't see that on, on 2D sonar. And it's very hard to find them too. And if those fish move, it's very hard to relocate them again. These fish are moving, so a lot of times I'll have to scan with that live view forward and kind of see where they moved, get back over them with that live view down. It's a done deal. Falling the weight down. Pile of them. That's a good one too. So when I'm closer to the weeds, I'm gonna use that midnight blue setting because if, they, if those fish right there, those are fish and there's some bluegill there, if they get closer to the weeds, on the old school pan optics, it would kind of blend in where it was hard to see. On this one, the clarity is so good. There's a fish, if they're outside those weeds, you're gonna see them. You're gonna see them in the weeds. Right now, they're actually behind. There's a school of bluegill right there. Those are all bluegill. You can see how tight they're schooled up. If those bluegill get in the weeds, I can still see it. With that, I can't. So that's the improvement from the live scope to the older PS21 transducer. And if you're in the weeds, you're gonna produce some big fish like this. Got him right in the grass. And it's a big white perch. Those fish you would never see on any kind of technology in the grass like that. I'm gonna show you what that looks like on 2D sonar. That's what you would look at. What you just saw was amazing. There's still fish there swimming around in that grass. Those are stalks of grass and that's a bunch of fish just swimming around. It's amazing. This technology is really amazing. It's going to open up so many different windows. Look at those fish swimming around there as we're just talking about this. It's going to open up so many different windows to fishing in weeds, wood. It's just endless. I mean it's, it's truly amazing on what you can do with this live scope. It's just it's mind-blowing. You know, over the years, there's things that come along that really change the way and help anglers interpret what's under the boat. You know, side imaging was one of those things when it first came out, if you didn't have it, you were behind times. I mean, you were able to see a 3D image of the structure you were fishing, and that was really cool. When pan optics came out for the first time, that's what really, I said, you know what, I need to switch to Garmin. And the original pan optics was amazing in itself. You were able to see fish, and it was more of a deep water tool. You, you could see fish away from the boat, you could see your bait, and all in real time. I mean, amazing technology. What Garmin has done over the last few years, and I've used every single transducer from the original to now this live scope, is they've refined the technology to where now, what used to be just a deep water tool is a shallow water tool as well because you can see in grass, you can see in brush, see the fish, I mean, it, it really is amazing. Um, this is a technology now that's eliminated regular sonar. This is the future of, of fish finding and it's just really exciting. There's gonna be a lot of stuff we're gonna do with this for different species of fish and it's gonna be very exciting to capture it on film.